I saw some candles from Powdery Barn. I thought it'd be fun to try making them myself. I'm going to put a little glue into a small container and then add a bit of paint. Now that I have the glue tinted, I'm going to paint it all over the glass dish on the outside. I'm going to leave these for a few hours before moving on. Using some Mod Podge, I'm going to paint it around the dishes. I can sprinkle the white glitter all over it and then when it dries, the glitter will stay in place. I grabbed these pillar candles from the dollar store and I'm going to melt them down. I'm just going to use a couple of skewers to hold the wicks in place. I want to add some essential oil to give my candles a beautiful scent. It's time to fill the glass dishes. The final thing to do is to remove the skewers and then trim the wicks. How pretty are these Pottery Barn inspired candles? They even smell as good as they look. I have some clear plastic Christmas ornaments stuck on some wooden skewers and popped into an old piece of styrofoam. I'm using some Krylon sea glass spray paint and I have some um, nautical netting and I'm going to put it around the ornaments. I'm just using a little hot glue to secure it at the top. I'm just going to let the glue set and then I'm going to trim off the tops. To finish off our faux nautical floats, I'm using um, some jute. Look at them. They look like real glass, don't they? I love this project. They're so cute. The first step is just to make sure this is really clean. To start with, I want to use some gold leaf adhesive. I am just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes. Now we're going to get out the gold leaf sheets. Now you want to use a tweezer and a dry paintbrush with this. As I'm going along, I'm going to use the paintbrush and it's going to pull away any of the excess. And then we're ready to move on to the next step. Now we're going to add some paint, but we're going to paint the inside of this vase. And it has the look of a white ceramic vase with a beautiful antiqued kind of rustic gold finish at the top. Grab a pre-made round tabletop and set a planter on top. Grab some Jenga pieces, glue these down to keep our tabletop from sliding around. Grab some wood stain and put it all over. Now it's some clear polyurethane. Next, it's time for two-part epoxy and your favorite colors that you want to mix. Rub it all over the board. Next, grab your hair dryer and we're going to use low heat. Just keep doing this back and forth. Now, once it dries for 24 hours, we're gonna do the same process again. Now it's time to make our table. Take that base and you can use it for storage for blankets in the living room. Go ahead and put your tabletop on and look at that. I hope you love this project. It's so easy to do. Start to paint your pots and saucers with a matte finish paint or chalk paint. Take a paper napkin and separate the two ply layers. Draw a circle and cut it out with scissors. Take the saucer and brush the decoupage glue so the bottom and sides of the saucer are covered. Place the paper napkin circle and press down in the center and smooth the napkin out. Dip a small paintbrush in water and brush along the top of the saucer. Add a final layer of decoupage glue. Take a strong adhesive glue and place a ring of glue. Place the saucer on top of the bottom of the pot. You now have a beautiful clay pot candle holder. First, we're gonna repurpose a one gallon glass pickle jar, and then we have some decorative nautical rope. I'm measuring out vertical strips. Now, once I get all of my strips cut, I'm gonna start using my glue gun to attach them on the side of the jar. And all I'm doing is I'm evenly spacing these out, and then I'll go in the middle of those sections and put a piece of rope, and then I'll do that, continue on until all eight. And I'm just gonna start somewhere and kind of glue in a few places as I'm wrapping around, and then I'll glue the other two, and it end up being a stack of three, just to give it a finished look. It would look good staged and styled for many different seasons. Go ahead and grab yourself a tomato cage and also grab some wood shims. Grab a scrap board, take the thick end. We're going to get a nice clean hole and we're going to do this to all of our shims. What we're going to do is take a towel and just dip it in there. Make sure it's all covered. Just wipe it on there. The sticky points that go into the ground, we don't need those. It's just going to snap right off. Now we're going to grab us some copper wire. We're going to put that through the shim with the hole in it. Just use it like a twist tie. Go all the way around. Once you get the second layer done, we're going to grab us a solar light from Dollar Tree. Take off that small part on the bottom of the stake. We don't need that. And let it float right in the middle. Now we're going to work on that last circle. And when the night starts to fall, watch this. That thing is going to light up. And you don't even have to turn it on or off. It works its magic automatically and recharges during the day. Mm -hmm. 